There's a bunch of things that B2B companies need to be thinking about when they get started in e-commerce. Uh, first and foremost, it's executive leadership and organizational alignment. You need to make sure that you have the people at the top of the organization bought in and driving the uh, e-commerce effort throughout the entire company. So number one, organizational uh, alignment and leadership, including, by the way, the buy-in of the sales team. They've got to be aligned with this effort, particularly if you're a B2B sales uh, organization. Two, you need to make sure you put the customer first in the, in the effort so that the customer's needs are accommodated by the e-commerce website. This applies if you're a retailer, if you're a B2B seller, a manufacturer, distributor, whatever you're doing, you got to make sure the customer's needs are considered first in the process. And there's ways to document that, interviewing your customers, talking to your customers. I'm amazed at how many companies speak the speak, but they don't actually get out and talk to the customer and you know, get their feedback through the process. So that's really number two, is involving your customer in the process. Our big, our, our, our big e-commerce dominating, dominating company in the market today, Amazon does that really well. And then number three, you've got to make sure that you understand your objectives and the requirements that inform the e-commerce platform and technology that you put in place. So too many, too many times, and I've made this mistake myself in 20 years in the business, not taking the time up front to carefully plan your objectives and thoroughly document requirements of what the system needs to do based on customer objectives and needs is a, is a recipe for failure, quite frankly. I had to go through a replatforming twice in one year as a result of not doing that. So I learned the hard way. <laughs> So don't do that. So there's three things that you can do to make sure you're successful in e-commerce when you're getting started.